times 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm T and T Dine. I'm IT Explosive One. And we have a very special guest with us again in. Oh, the, hi, I'm Melody. In A. Hey. Oh. <laughs> you did it. No, do I? Do, I'm not. I don't. You want me to do another special intro every episode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I'm no. So, all right. So I was. Uh, we'll hop right into it this time. We got all the pleasantries out of the way yesterday. You know, it's, thanks for joining us numerous days in the row, a row. We know that you're a busy lady. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's a different oh, day. It's a different day. Oh shit! My hat. It's a different day. Never mind. We're all professionals here. Fuck Carol. Bat. That's relevant. So, anyways, I uh, I saw online. Are you guys familiar? with okay you know flies that like fly around and like infest shit you know like house flies hmm. did you know there's a zombie fungus hmm. that affects flies so i was reading this online this there's a fungal infection that gets on flies right and then it infects when it infects female flies they die and it attracts the male flies to come and mate with them and then the male flies catch it and then go and give it and that's how it spreads so it actually attracts male flies once the female fly dies to come and have sex with it and then it goes on and keeps spreading the disease amongst other flies and they call it the zombie fly fungus that, that's what, love what is it zombie because the the i guess because like i don't know because like, i guess because the the, like the female fly flies around when she has it and then when she dies then like it starts re releasing some sort of pheromones and then the male flies come along and I thought uh and then that's and, necro and make them commit necrophilia in order to catch it oh. yeah yeah and then okay. they go on and, and they just go on and have their little uh, zombie male fungal infection sex parties and then the whole how, how long until that starts affecting humans is the real question here. <laughs> oh Jesus who's gonna have sex with a fly I mean, no, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is that where we were going? No, I'm not. Know. Okay. Here's the thing, okay? I, I, I get where you were going with that, but, like, if if there's a, like, the, the, the lady's a zombie dead lady, who's going to be like, oh, yeah, that's where I'm going? I mean, like, she I starts releasing pheromones or something. She puts on a nice dress with her zombie arms and, you know. Oh. Is that what's going to happen? So, yeah. I, I don't think that's gonna happen. Honestly, no. I watch so much true crime that I like wouldn't be surprised anymore. Like nothing surprises me. There are really? some people who are totally into that. Oh yeah, for Z sure. <laughs> they're just gonna just the those people walking dead, they go watch Day of the Dead and they're just like, Oh yeah. I can't wait sure. to hear that lady. What's yeah. the uh, where's the weirdest true crime story that you uh, have ever heard that you like that like blew your mind? It doesn't have to be disgusting like this, obviously, but like Ted Bundy was Ted Bundy was pretty messed up. Oh, totally. <laughs> Anything cannibalism is gross. One really cool. It's not cool, um, but that I didn't know because I'm not like really a gamer or anything. So it's like when people on Twitch will like it's called swatting. Yeah, that's insane to me that people can just do that and send a whole SWAT team over to some random person's house. Like how much there money was... are you like costing taxpayers? Yeah, right. That shit just happened recently, and there was a uh, a streamer who was killed from that. Um, he was killed? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. They, they sent the police like, to his house. I've heard of, like, the streamers where they're just, like, being abusive to their partner. Like, whether, not, like, necessarily physically, but they're, like, verbally be, like, abusing their oh, partners and shit. And people dude. Call, the, call the cops on them and stuff. Or they'll, or they'll like, hear oh them walk God. off camera and hear shit slam around. Yeah, and yeah. Hear, like, so you're not, you guys don't actually watch any Twitch, huh? No. 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 All right. Well, I, I watch it at night. Okay, well, hey, yeah. Because... Enlighten us. Because sometimes, you know, it's late at night. It's like, you can't watch any more YouTube. There's nothing. You can't be scrolling through your phone. I'll watch a little Twitch. I have definitely seen couples who Twitch and they put on the happy and we're a good, we're a happy family, the perfect couple. And we love each other and they're joking with each other. And then they think the camera goes off and dude starts slamming burritos around the kitchen and yelling. And I'm like, whoa, shit changed real quick. <laughs> I was like, like that's, so it's like that's like their their like uh, their like persona for Twitch, and then really mm -hmm. they're just toxic abusers, and they're just like it's, it's interesting. Like you eat the burritos. eat the fucking burrito, then I'm like, whoa! I was like, how do you clip things? I don't know how to clip anything, but I'm like, how do you do it? If you're fighting over bur a burrito, like I mean, your relationship's probably coming to, coming to an end. <laughs> 
yo, I, I, you see stuff like that, and it's like, I'm, it makes you okay with being single. Maybe not long term, but you know, it makes you okay with it. There's a lot of things that make me okay with being single. <laughs> <laughs> Melody is, uh, Melody's, you've been married for what, like four years now? Seven? Oh my god, Five. no. I haven't dated since before the pandemic, and I'm like so happy. Like, everybody I know is married. Both my sisters, my younger mm -hmm. sisters, are getting engaged this year. And I'm like, have fun, everybody. Like, invite me to your <laughs> wedding, open bar, fuck yeah. Yeah, um, that's the way to do it. <clears throat> no, I. No, you never. No, no, no kids on the horizon. I'm sorry, this is getting way into like the therapy session I said we weren't going to get into. Yeah, right? You're talking about people's kids? Yeah. Uh, I'll happily every... say that I'm never having kids. I think almost every one of my friends is married except for uh, TNT. <laughs> yeah, me and, yeah. Me and him are like, we're like the last Yo, ones left, I think. Yay! That's actually true. Even, even our uh, you friends already... that, that we never thought would ever get married got married oh yeah i was married for a while like, you were yeah. married you got married you, you i was dude i don't have any kids or anything like that i don't know how that happened but now i'm not and that's and that's way better what does that mean <laughs> i mean like i was. You don't know how it happened you want us to explain it to you i'll bring up a chart <laughs> if <Yeah>. you want <laughs> I mean, you know, it was cool, I guess, for a minute, but like, yeah, so I'm good. I'm good moving forward on all Me, that. Me, I've never been married. Never? No, it, you know, I, I take I take relationships seriously, and it's like, if, like, it takes me months to even get to that point where I feel comfortable with saying I love you to another person. Because I, I need to mean it if I'm going to say it, and I need to mean that. Um... So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just cautious. I've seen, you've seen a lot of broken hearts in your life. You've seen a lot of divorce. You know, um, you're just a little bit more cautious about that. I think it's pragmatics is really what it is for me. It's like, I see what everybody else is going through. I'm not going to purposely put myself in the same situation by rushing into something hastily. Oh my gosh, totally. And as like the single people of your friend group, like doesn't everybody bitch to you about their relationships? And you're like, ah, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. you curl up and you curl up in bed by yourself. <laughs> Just like it. <laughs> Get all the blankets to yourself. <laughs> as, yeah. as you grab your body pillow and stroke it kindly, yeah. you're like, oh, thank yeah. you. You're always here for me, aren't you, Matilda? Yeah, yeah. you know, cry yourself to sleep, you know, all those sort of Cry things. myself to sleep. <laughs> no, see, as long as, tears of joy. Like, as long as you're a person that doesn't, that can be okay with, like, not having, like, affection, like, by a person unless you want it right like that's i think the biggest thing some people are just like i can't not have attention and affection from someone so i need to like have it i have to have someone in my life to have that part like it's like that Ooh. attachment to intimacy or of some sort but yeah it's like ever since i got divorced it's like yeah like i it, i just hear people talk and i'm just like oh god thank god it's just like you know people are like i never get to go eat indian food because my husband doesn't like yes. Indian food. i'm like don't you have friends? Can't you just go have Indian food with somebody else? Like, what that enmeshment is what like is what like makes me go, oh shit! Like that, like that's yeah. like. Mm -hmm. No, totally. To have one person who can like impact your day like so significantly, like how like that's so crazy. Like, how would you get anything done if this person? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to do that today. Like, but I don't care. No, I don't think we should do that. Yeah. Yeah, we that, shouldn't like, do that. Or somebody's like, "Hey, you want to go to this thing?" And the first thing you have to do is check with someone else to make sure if you're able to go. <laughs> like, like, oh my lord! Or like, you don't ask them to go with you, and that's a no. like that, that stuff. That stuff. Uh, but what what about down the line, Melody? Are you are you are you considering it? Has it ever crossed your mind? You're like, one day, Brad no. Pitt's gonna leave Angel Angelina. No, who's he with? <laughs> who's he I with? mean, maybe. Um, I, the thing is, since I've stopped dating, I have not gotten in, into a fight with anybody. Like, mm -hmm. there's zero drama in my life, and I love that so much, and I feel like the only way to preserve this, like, peak, like, sanity is to keep doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I don't know, I like to think that I'm open to it, but I'm definitely, like, not set on anything. Right. This yeah. person wants to let me do whatever the fuck I wanted. So. <laughs> You know, they say this is the problem with uh, with the kids nowadays, is that they're not procreating enough. There's not yeah. enough kids. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you know, eight billion. And you're coming out, and you're coming out nowadays, all mixed up with your pronouns. 
Is that what happens? <laughs> that's, what they, that's what they're saying. That's what they're oh, saying. Is that, is that is that like the on the boomer chats, like the boomer forums? That's what they're. Oh the truth social. Show. Truth social. Yeah. Oh my god, have you guys been on there? No. Is it good? It's I've never funny. been on there. Oh, it's you hilarious. have? Yes. Well, I've seen like the screenshots like on Twitter, but like, oh my god, how terrifying. Absolutely. I I, will, I signed up for Frank speech, the uh, Mike Lindell one, the day it came out. His is lame, though. His is lame. I have no idea. He's the uh, My Pillow your, guy. Uh, your finger on the pulse, right? Uh, TNT, you like to know what the kids are, what the kids are up to. What? What do you mean? You sign up for them just so you can like keep your finger on the pulse, so you can know like what's hot in the streets, what all the what all the hate speech is coming. <laughs> what's hot in hate speech? <laughs> No, you guys didn't vote for Trump? I'm just saying. No. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Don't answer that. No, I, um, I, yeah, I really just wanted to see what they were about. This, I wanted to see if there was anything. This guy his, you didn't vote for Trump trolling on everyone in this world. <laughs> what? <laughs> just asking. Oh, you got to really keep things it. even, evenly killed on here, all right? Can't be, uh, yeah, somebody's got to be, gotta be gotta a, both sides of the fence yeah, evenly. somebody's got to be the Trump supporter of the group. Oh, yeah. Yes, you don't want to isolate a demographic of uh, of political views, huh? So, <clears throat> well, anyways, uh, any more uh, toxic monogamy? Uh, <laughs> things you guys want to toxic have? monogamy. Listen, I don't want to shit on that. I'm glad people are in happy relationships. Actually, the only people that I hang out with are mm -hmm. people like happy couples or single guys, actually. But like, I don't know. Why is it? Why is it? Why single guys and not single ladies? Because the single guys that I happen to know are really happy being single. Whereas, like, I don't know that many single women. I'm sure there are, they're out there, um, mm -hmm. but we're happy. You people. are one. Oh, that are happy being single. No, I mean, yes, but I find that most other, oh God, this has to be edited very carefully because I don't want to sound anti-feminist. It just so happens that the people that I meet, most women who are single are trying to date. Um, oh, okay. And that's no, I don't think that's an anti-feminist statement. I think that's, I think that's, and there's some the truth to that. In my specific circle. Um, oh, okay. But, and okay. Like, all we talk about is like, well, I need to find a husband. I need a date. This guy goes to me, and I'm like, this is a boring conversation. I can't contribute anything to it. Whereas all these guys will like talk to me about the game, or like they won't constantly be talking about dating. It's like yeah. way more interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That makes sense. Yeah. That wow. Sense. All right. I, I feel you don't find a lot of single guys complaining that they're single, and if they are, that's probably the reason why they're single, anyways, because they're they're so caught up in like. I yeah. can't find I find somebody that that's yeah that's part of the reason. It's not good. It's not cool for guys to talk about their feelings, so we won't do it as much. <laughs> we have to be dead inside always, but then show all the emotion yeah. when, when it's necessary. So yeah, you know. like real men. <laughs> like real men, be dead inside until you don't need to be. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown dot com. Uh, Melody, again, anything you want to tell us you, that you don't want us to look at? That I don't want you guys to look at. No, uh, just last time you said you didn't have it. No, just to look at. check out her IMBD. What are you doing? Music? I'm not doing any. Oh my god, no. <gasps> Melody, do you sing? Do you sing? Do you sing? <laughs> in the shower or in the car by myself. Can you rap? Like as a joke. Like, oh my god. We gotta talk about this. I love her so much. Um, yeah, no, I can't do anything musically. Well. <laughs> no. All right, we'll, All we'll right. talk about it. We'll talk about it. All right, for Jonas. TNT. And? Bye, guys. We out.